everyone, so for this project, you'll need weight for yarn. I have it in shades of red and black, a 4mm crochet hook, 1mm hook, um, scrap yarn, which is optional just for filling in the horns, um, some sewing needles for putting the horns on, and then scissors. And just a little side note, um, I ran out of yarn kind of when I was making this, so relative to what I have, you're going to need more yarn than that for the body of your hat. Okay, so we're going to start with the horns, and you're going to grab your red yarn and your hook, make a magic circle by making a little loop with your yarn, it's like a little ribbon, sticking your yarn in that loop, pulling the long yarn through, and you have a magic circle. And then you're going to chain two, and inside the magic circle, inside this big loop, you're going to put in four single crochets. So there's one, two, three, four. So those are my four single crochets. Then you can pull um, the little string in the back to tighten it. And that was a weird noise. Um, I think it's fine. All right, and then you're going to put your hook into that first single crochet you did. So this is my fourth one. Four, three, two, one. Into that first one. Stick your hook in there. Might be a little tight. I'm having a little trouble. And then you're going to pull through and chain two. So that's our first row. In our second row, you're going to put two single crochet in that first stitch, the one we pulled through in. And you're gonna, yeah, two single crochet in here. And then for the rest of this loop, or sorry, the rest of this row, you're gonna put one single crochet in each stitch. And at the end, you should have a total of five. And this is gonna be the pattern we're doing for the rest of the horn. Um, every time you start a new row, You'll put two single crochet in the first stitch, and then one single crochet in each stitch that follows. So right now I have four, I need to do one more stitch. And that's it. So your rows are just going to increase by one stitch. So my first row had four, next has five, next will have six and seven, and so on. Um, and you'll do this for 11 rows. So if you kind of know what I'm saying, you can go ahead and do that, but I'll just keep showing you um, how to do it. So for my second row, I have one, two, three, four, five stitches. I'm gonna go into that very first stitch I did, and I'm gonna pull through. I'm going to chain two, and same thing as the last row. In that first stitch, I'm gonna put two single crochet, and everything else gets one single crochet. And you're gonna go all the way around. Um, I also find it, I just have like a couple tips. Um, I find it kind of hard to kind of see where the rows are if I have my work in this direction, right? I don't know, it's kind of hard for me to see the rows, but if, if, you, if you can see them, that's fine. Um, so what I like to do, let me just finish this row here. One, two, three, four, five, six, so on the first stitch. Um, what I like to do, once I get to like a certain point, I like to just flip my work inside out. Um, and this is also how we'll have the horn um, in the final project, just because I feel like this looks a little neater. Um, but to each his own, whatever you feel like doing. And so if you turn your work inside out, it is optional. When you start crocheting again, I'm going to do my chain two. I'm going to be going in this direction, so I'm going to go work in the left now, if, if I'm, you know, I'm right-handed. So this would be my first stitch, not the one over there, over here. And I'll put two double crochet in the first one, and then one in all the other ones. And I feel like it's a lot easier to count the rows here. Um, like for me, um, so this, like, the little nub at the top is the first row, so that's four. Then we had five, six. So this row should have seven. And um, yeah, you're gonna do this for 11 rows. So this is my fourth row. So I will do this seven more times with an increase in the first stitch. And yeah, I'll see you when I'm done. So I did my 11 rows for my horn. Now what I'll do, um, I also sealed it off. 
I'm gonna make a slip stitch, but like a really long one, um, because we're gonna sew this onto our hat, so we want a really like long string. Um, if you accidentally cut it too short, that is also fine, um, because you can you can just kind of grab like an extra string and like tie it to one of the stitches and then do it that way too. Um, there's a couple ways you could do it. I, I might um, show you, but yeah. A long string is nice. And then the other thing you do, um, if you don't notice, like this isn't too bad, right? It's a little curvy, um, but like this one has a little more of that curve to it. And so if you want to do that, you don't have to, I'll show you what I did. Um, just grab like a couple inches of the red yarn. Uh, this looks like maybe like four or five inches, I think. And then grab a smaller hook and then you're gonna take your horn and where the string is, right? You notice that like one end is kind of straight, but the side with the increases is where the curves are. So you're gonna go to the more curvy side um, and you're gonna kind of count your rows. So I have my first row, second row, third row. And then the third row is where I'm going to pull this string through. So I'm going to go in my third row. Any, any space is fine. But you see how that's like one row, two row, three row. And I'm putting my hook like right under the third row. And you're gonna take your yarn and kind of pull it through. Cool. And then, so this string is in the space under the third row. You're gonna skip a row skip another row and you're gonna pull the other part of the string into the space two rows below it this is the third row fourth row fifth row so right under the fifth row i'm gonna pull the other side off and you'll kind of have this little like loop here and so now um what we're going to do is you're going to turn your work inside out which might be a little hard, but you know, it'll be fine. Okay. And then you're gonna pull it as tight as you can and tie a tight knot. Um, and this will just kind of make sure that there will be a little like crease there. And then when you're done tying the knot, you can turn it back inside out. And then there should be like a little a little curve there but if you don't want to you know that's also totally fine um a little side note for when you're doing your second horn just notice that um my first horn um if i face it this way it looks normal but if i were to put it on the other side it has that weird like mark of where the stitches are so for your second horn instead of putting the increase as your first stitch um, you're actually going to try and put it as your last stitch. So just to show you what I mean, um, I finished like both the horns and as you can see this is both of them from the front and in the back they have that like kind of big mark. So for your first horn you do the increase at the first stitch, second horn do the increase in the last stitch and that way um, facing forward they'll both look pretty neat and won't have that big like gash in them. Um, but for both of them, you'll still do that little like string that helps to tighten it and make it a little more curvy. Um, but yeah, that's all. And now we can go ahead and do the hat. So for me, I want to make my hat black. So I got some black yarn. You're going to make a magic circle again, which is where you make a little ribbon. Oops, a little ribbon with your yarn. You go in the loop, pull the longer yarn through. That's a magic circle. In your magic circle, you're going to chain three. And now we're going to do double crochets. You're going to put 13 double crochets in this loop. Once you get 13, so you'll have 13 plus a chain three. Um, so you'll tighten in the back with that little string. Um, and we're not going to count the chain three. So you're going to go, might be a little hard to see, but 
this is the chain three, that loop. You wanna go into the first double crochet you did. And then that's where you'll pull through. So for this entire part, you're just going to ignore the chain three and put your um, crochet hook into the first stitch you did. That's the first row. Second row, you're gonna chain three again. You're gonna put two double crochet into each stitch for a total of 26. So I'm gonna go into this stitch right there. I'm gonna put two double crochets. And I'm gonna do this all the way around and have a total of 26. All right, so I finished my second row. I have 26 stitches. I'm gonna go ahead and skip the chain three, go into that first stitch, pull through. And for row three, you're going to chain three. And this time you're gonna put two double crochet in every other stitch. So it's gonna be like this. Two double crochet in that first stitch, one in the next. And you're gonna go ahead and do this all the way around. So I have two in this stitch, I'll have one in the next. So this will be two, one, two, one. You go all the way around. All right, so I finished row three. You should have 39 stitches in total. Now I'm gonna end this one, go into the first double crochet, pull through, chain three. And for row four, um, you're gonna do a similar pattern. You're gonna put two double crochet in the first stitch, one in the next, and one in the next. So it's gonna be two, one, one, like this. There's two double crochet in the first stitch, one in the next, one in the next. And you're gonna continue that all the way around. So this is my two double crochets. And I have one double crochet and then one more double crochet. So I finished row four. Um, I'll end it off with a slip stitch in that first stitch as we usually do, skipping the chain three. Um, so you go ahead and start row five with a chain three. And last time our pattern was two, one, one. Now it will be two, one, one, one. So two double crochets in the first stitch. And then one double crochet in the next three stitches. And that will be your pattern. So I have one in one stitch one in the next stitch and one in the third stitch so two one 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 all right so i finished row five moving on to row six um it's going to be a little different but this is going to be the last row of increases you're going to chain three um put two double crochets into the first stitch and then you're going, for the next 12 stitches, you're just gonna put one double crochet. We did a double, two double crochets in the first stitch. And for the next 12, we put one double crochet, and then we start over. So two double crochet in the first stitch, and then you'll do 12 more. And in total, you should have five increases. So I have one, two, and I'll have like three, four, five or something. Okay, so I finished this row, our last row of increases. Um, finish it off with um, a little pull through, chain three, and now you're just gonna put one double crochet into each stitch. So no more increases. And after you finish this row, we're gonna go ahead and put the horns on. Um, Cause again, if we wait until we finish the whole hat, it is a little harder, not too much harder, but I just prefer it this way. So I finished um, the row where we don't do any increases. That was row seven. Um, so I'll just um, pull through. And I'll leave it a bit long because now we're going to be sewing the horns on. So this part might be a little tricky, but go ahead and grab your horns. Um, and we're going to put them on. Um, and for me, I like to make sure everything's like all oriented first. So I prefer to have like my seam facing the back, which means this is gonna be my front. So this is facing front, and I'm gonna look at my horns. This horn looks normal from this end, right? But if I put it on this side, it would have that big ugly thing. So I'm gonna put this horn on this side, because this is the front. 
my other horn has a ugly gash on that side so I'll put it over here so it's gonna be like this so I'll work on one horn at a time I have this horn and I have the long tail that I cut if you didn't cut a long tail um, again you can just kind of like tie a string at the end and like you know weave it in that way um, but yeah go ahead and grab a needle and put the yarn through and for me what I like to do I like to start um, after the third row so this is the first row second row this is the third row so I'm going to start in that seam between the third and the fourth row again that's going to be in the back I'm going to grab my yarn one two three I'm going to just kind of pick a random spot hope for the best <laughs> okay so I'm going to stick it in there and then I think um, another thing is to just think about how much space you want your horn to take up. So I think my horn will take up around two um, rows. So I just want to be aware of that, that I want to make sure it takes up two rows. And now you just kind of start sewing. So I have my string in the back, um, and I will just, I think I'll go around this way. So I'll poke my string again, just in a random place, doesn't really matter. And I just want to make sure it's secure. So I'm probably just going to do, I'm just probably going to sew in every stitch, like on the horn. And yeah, there's no, I don't know, I don't really have a specific way that I do this. I just kind of put the needle wherever I feel like it. Um, so yeah, just going to go ahead and try and sew these horns on as best as you can. Um, and remember to try and maybe make them just, you know, stay a little circular. But yeah, so just go ahead and sew it in, and I will show you how I like to tie it off. Um, but if you have your own way, you know, if you've been sewing stuff for a while, um, to each their own. All right, let me put this here. Okay, so yeah, just go ahead and go around and sew your horn in. And just be aware of, like, you know, all the orientation and stuff. All right, so I sewed around most of it. I have a little bit of space left, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab, like, some scrap yarn I have. If you don't have scrap yarn, that's totally fine, but I think... I just want to make it like a little more like sturdy um i feel like they're pretty sturdy on their own but maybe just a little more sturdy um and this way you know when i'm sewing it not all the yarn isn't like falling off and stuff cool i think that looks okay um and then i will show you how to end it okay so i finished putting one horn on and to tie it off i'm going to flip backwards and you can kind of see like the stitches you did what I do, I just kind of pick a random stitch and I sneak my needle under there and I'm just going to kind of try and tie like a normal knot. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just like take the thread and pull it through that little loop and just tie a knot. Um, you know, if you have your own way of ending it, that's cool too. And then just to secure it, I'll do another little knot. And then I'm not going to take my needle off yet. Um, I'm just going to kind of like weave the end in under some of these stitches so that way it's not like flying everywhere. And you can go ahead and do this for your other horn. And then for the rest of the hat, like the body of the hat, you're going to keep doing um, your stitches. Sorry, you can keep doing your rows with just like no increases, no decreases, no nothing. Just one double crochet in each one. Um, and you're going to do that um, until you get your hat to be um, like as deep as you want it to be. I normally do a total of 14 rows. So starting from one, I'll go all the way to 14. Um, but you know, sometimes I do 13 just if I want a shallower hat. Um, but yeah, it's up to you. But I'll, I'll show you after this. But if you just want to like get a head start, that's cool. When you put on your other horn, something to keep in mind, this is something I all, I would always mess up on. Um, I would I would have a lot of trouble getting them like exactly in the middle. So what I like to do now, um, I just kind of like, like trace a stitch and just kind of go through. So I think maybe like here, right there would be a perfect starting point. Um, so just keep that in mind. If you mess up, you can, you know, you can always take it apart and restart, which is a little tiring, but I have done that many times um, because you know, no one's perfect. And it'll all work out in the end. You still have a nice looking hat. Alright, so I finished putting on my horns. It's looking pretty cute. So now, um, like I said before, pretty simple. You're just going to be doing 
um, what we did for the last row, which is chain three and then one double crochet in each stitch. And you're gonna do that all the way, ooh, all the way around for the next, um, how many? Well, until uh, you get a total of 14 rows. So right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, this is my eighth row. So I'm gonna go until I reach 14, maybe 13. Um, I like to have it where it's covering maybe like the top half inch of my ears. Um, uh, but you can do whatever depth you like. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do 14 rows, um, and you can do however many you think, um, will like best fit your head. Okay, so I finished, um, all 14 rows, and now we're gonna work on the rim of the hat. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do a slip stitch in that first double crochet and then I'm going to chain three and for this row we're going to put two double crochet in one stitch one two and then one double crochet in the next stitch so I put two in this stitch and I'm going to put one in this stitch and you're going to continue this all the way around just a two double crochet and then one double crochet two one two, one. And that's all for this row. Okay, so I finished my first part of the room. Um, for the second part, I think I'm going to do something a little different. Um, but if you want to make your room like the same color, what you're going to do, you're going to chain three and you're going to put two double crochet in the first one and then two double crochet for the next four. So for five stitches, you're going to put two double crochets. And on the sixth stitch, you'll put one double crochet. So it goes five um, of the two double crochets and then one of the single double crochet. And you continue that pattern. What I want to do, I think I want to change the rim a little bit. I think I just want to have a little bit of red on the rim. So what I'm going to do, um, this is kind of because I don't know if I have enough yarn. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to chain two. And I'm going to do the same thing, but with single crochets. So I'm going to put two single crochets in the first stitch, two in the next, in the third stitch, the fourth stitch, and the, oops, and the fifth stitch. And then I'll put one in the sixth stitch. Uh, and then I'm going to go all the way around and do that. And then my final row will be another row of single crochets. Okay, so I finished that row of single crochets. And now I'm going to switch colors to red. I don't know how it will look, but we'll see. Um, sorry, let me do a slip stitch first. But I'm going to go ahead and go to that first single crochet. And I'm going to pull through. And then I'm going to change colors. Grab my red string, pull it through the black loop. I'm going to tighten the black loop a little bit and then I'm going to cut it. I'm done with the black. Um, and then I'm going to chain two. Before I do anything else, I'm just going to tie the red and the black string together. And then for this row, I'm just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all around. So it's going to be um, a pretty easy row, right? Oops. I'm going to do double crochet. Just one single crochet into each stitch. All the way around. And I think that will look nice. Yeah, why not? Um, but yeah. And when you're done, you can just tie it off and you will be done with your hat. And I'll show you what it will look like. Okay, so I finished my last row. I'm going to go ahead and do a slip stitch into that first single crochet. And then I'm just going to end it and you're done and then um it's pretty cute i think i really like the red room um but anyways what you can do now is go ahead and take a smaller hook or a larger hook whatever and just go ahead and like weave in all your loose ends um into your work and then yeah you'll be all done so hopefully this video was helpful um hopefully your hat turned out well and yeah thank you so much for watching